I was out here just making the video. Oh, it disappeared when I held the camera up here. Oh, there it is. It's coming back. It was just glowing there just a minute ago. It'll come back. It's there. Because they hide underneath it at the level below these bushes. There was a glowing bright light right there. It's right there. Right there. Anyway, there's a La Luna. There's La Luna. <laughs> My hands will shake. So, uh, oh, there's one. There's a Ufa. There's a there he is. There he is. Come on. Come on. There he is. Right there. Uh, hold both hands. There you go. There it is. Just a little tic-tac back there darting along. <laughs> so it's starting up early tonight. Back of there. Back of there. Let's go over here. So I want to talk to you guys for a minute about this. All right? He's over there somewhere. There's. A, they'll be out when he once. It gets darker, they're easier to see then because they stick out behind it. And I'm going to tell you right now, you see all this field here? Hold on, I'll pull it out for you bigger. So, back behind that row of trees that I'm pointing at right there, that row of trees, right? Behind that row of trees is a field here where I'm pointing a field over there they're separated by row of trees like this there's a field there a field there and another field there okay and then the field in the center right there's another field behind it farm field and that field has a big sign in front of it that says no trespassers and it's one of those signs that uh, you know they mean business they're they're like don't don't uh no trespassing means no trespassing right so i ain't going back there because i don't know who those people are and according to the uh according to the farmer who's lived here his whole life a lot of bugs now according to the farmer who's lived here his whole life he informed me that behind that is the swamp now Today is the second time since we lived here in July, August of last year that I saw a big plume of smoke back out there coming up. It's happened twice that I've actually photographed and seen. And I don't know why, but it's interesting. Oh, they're over there. They have their lights turned down, I think, now. So I see some glittering and flickering, and certainly at the lower level. Let's take a look and see what we can see. There's one right there. There he is. He's popping in. You see how low that is to the thing there? You see where he is? It's kind of blurry, but you can see him. He's right above the bushes. It ain't a drone. Mm -hmm. He disappeared again. He's gone. Uh, so, let's see if there's any watchers. No watchers, right? So, um, so you know, again, like I said, this direction where I'm pointing the camera, right, right there, that is due west, right there, right? So we come due north, right there. Kind of dark, but I'll show you that later. So, according to the farmer, you can't get in there through the swamp, because, you know, <laughs> it's a swamp. It's full of snakes and, and all kinds of nasty bits. There's coyotes back there, too that uh, the state of Maryland saw in their infinite wisdom to help with the deer population. And they're not. But, let's just say, <laughs> I've seen some weird stuff back there when I walk back there with my prince, Prince. So. I found a deer head. We have a pond back here, right? Where that, uh, where those trees are there on the left, there's a pond, right? With a dock and uh, I guess fish in it, I don't know. Anyway, I took Princey back by the pond one day. And uh, 
I noticed that the grass had grown up until Printy and I came back. And a couple days later, we were walking back there and I noticed, I saw something on the path and I didn't know what it was when I got back there with him. It was a, a pair of uh, crocs that somebody left back there, which I thought was rather interesting. They were adult crocs and they were just sitting there. I was like, this is kind of odd. And Prince is acting a little kooky, funny, weird. And that's not far off for him. See, he, from time to time, he's a little, uh, a little wacky, but he's my boy. I love him very much. So, when I saw the Crocs, he and I went back there. I might have told this story, but there's people coming that don't know. Um, so, I, uh, saw the Crocs and walked back there thinking to myself, well, what the hell? These weren't here yesterday. And, uh, I don't see anything showing up as I'm walking away. These weren't here yesterday. And Prince and I had gone back and walked around the pond the day before and came out. Or it was three days, maybe. Three days, two or three days. So we went back again because I saw the crocs. And as we were looking, right, walking around looking, I see uh, over by a tree this deer head. And there's nothing really odd about it. We're out in the wilderness, deer head, you know. Except for the fact that it was March. And it's not deer hunting season in March. And weirder than that was the fact that what is beside the moon? Weirder than that was the fact that there was no blood. Um, there were no insects. There was uh, no blood. <laughs> there was no body, just a head. And it looked like it had been pulled off and some stuff had been done to it. So here, I'm going to show you the head now. Keep it in a baggie over here. There she is, there's the head. No eyes, lips missing. There's the, uh, hey, okay, you see the points, right? It's like a seven point, eight point head. And anybody who knows anything about hunting knows that any hunter would never leave a rack like that back there. Most hunters wouldn't. Now, I'm not saying it was anything supernatural, but there should have been some blood, right? Should have been some blood. There was no blood. And you saw it. Maybe tomorrow when the sun is out, I'll take some better pictures. Regardless, I'll be back later. Get us some pictures out there. God bless. Everybody have a great day.